Hi, welcome to your home school. This is your next session of your 10th standard mathematics SSLC NCRT syllabus. Some application of trigonometry of your 12th chapter. Okay, in this chapter, we have completed two problems in our last session. Now, we are going to start third problem. Okay, this is your exercise 12. Point one children only one exercise we have in this chapter okay let's start your third problem what's your third problem look over there a contractor plans to install two slides for the children to play in a park okay let me stop so these verbal problems every point wise we are going to discuss so here you know the idea about a slide I think you have been in park or in your playground, you have seen slides. What do you mean by slides? Yes, you are going to climb steps and uh, you come down, right? That is the slide. Okay, you have seen um, many varieties of slides you might have seen. Plastic slide, it may be cement slide, it may be. Okay, so now what is there in this problem? Let us discuss here. A contractor plans to install two slides for the children to play in a park. Okay, when a contractor have decided to install two slides in the park. Okay, for the children below the age of five years. How many slides? There are two slides here. One slide is for the age group below five years children. Okay, she prefers, okay, a lady prefers to have a slide whose top is at a height of 1.5 meters okay look over there children you can see the slides also there so small slide which should be above the ground how much distance here 1.5 meters above the ground it should be uh, this slide is for which age group children the children which are below five years of age okay and is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees. See a slide inclination given the inclination of angle towards the ground. This inclination we call this as a angle of elevation also. Okay. So what is the angle here? 30 degrees. See there angle CAB is equal to 30 degrees. BC is equal to 1.5 meters. That is the height which is above the ground. So now. Uh, whereas for elder children, okay, another slide. Elder children, she wants to have a steep slide at a height of uh, at a height of three meters. So here, there is there it is a steep slide means directly like this it will be. Okay, there this uh, below children it will be slanting position it will be. Slanting slide is having more length. A steep slide direct like this it will be. Okay, steep slide at a height of 3 meters and inclined at an angle of 60 degrees. See here for elder children, uh, see the height above the ground, it will be 3 meters. What is the slide distance? Okay, and what is the angle made there? 60 degrees towards the ground. Angle RPQ is equal to 60 degree. And still what they have given? Uh, what should be the length of the slide in each case? Children here try to understand the problem carefully. So, a contractor plans to install two slides. One slide is for the children which are below 5 years and another uh, slide is for the children above 5 years. Okay, small slide. Uh, it is at uh, above the ground level 1.5 meters height. And what is it? Slide length, slide angle, slide the inclination, slide I am making an angle 30 degrees. They have decided. And one more slide. It is. It should be at a height of 3 meters above the ground. And its angle of elevation must be 60 degree. So find the length of the slide in two cases is your question. Right, let's start this problem. So, one more thing you need to observe here, children. This is a right angle, okay, right angled triangle, right? 
so right angle where is your angle observe carefully so which two sides we are talking here height means opposite side and slide length it is hypotenuse we are talking here about opposite and hypotenuse yes what do you remember the ratio now children it is sin theta sin theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse only one ratio we can remember here so using that ratio we are going to find the slide length let's start the problem here third problem solution what they have given here okay below 5 years first let's talk about the slide below 5 years slide we are going to talk now given what is given here height bc let us consider the letters of our wish a b c like this we have taken now according to our figure bc bc is equal to how much 1.5 meter and your angle what is your angle here angle cab is equal to uh, 30 degree right what you need to calculate here ac is equal to question mark okay now using the trigonometric ratio which ratio here children sin theta right in right angled triangle in right angle triangle cab okay in right angled triangle cab sin what is the angle here sin 30 degree is equal to opposite by hypotenuse where is opposite here observe carefully bc by ac what is sin 30 according to your table sin 30 value is how much children yes it is 1 by 2 bc bc length is how much here 1.5 by ac cross multiply ac is equal to 1.5 into 2 that will be 3 meters look here children what is the length of the uh, incline inclination of a slide so which is how much here 3 meters length okay let's find the another slide here so now let's write here uh elder children this is second slide which is for elder children okay so now what they have given here r cube r cube is equal to 3 meters and angle r p q is equal to 60 degree what you need to find here pr is equal to question mark so look here children these sentences you write neatly in your notes okay so first what given what i have to do and what ratio it is there in the right angle triangle you have to observe now in right angled triangle what is the right angle triangle here p q r that is what ratio here we have already discussed here sin 60 degree is equal to opposite r cube by hypotenuse pr what is sin 60 children sin 60 value is root 3 by 2 is equal to r cube length will be 3 we don't know pr we need to calculate that so again do the cross multiplication pr is equal to 3 into 2 by root 3 okay look here children carefully don't try to write of uh, 6 by root 3 don't write better try to cancel root 3 root 3 sir right so now finally pr is equal to don't write root 3 to you have to write 2 root 3 meters so look here children finally what are your answer here so the slide length for smaller children slide length is 3 meters and the slide length for elder children it will be 2 root 3 meters fourth problem the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a point on the ground look over there children point where is the point here at a point a is a point on the ground okay 
and you can see the tower there bc a uh, top of a tower top of a tower means at point c which is 30 meters away from the foot of the tower so look here children the angle of elevation from the point a on the ground to the top of a tower c is uh, which is at a distance of foot of the tower given first they did not give us angle what they have given here which is 30 meters away from the foot of the tower so here distance uh, from the tower to the point a is 30 meters now what is the angle of elevation given that is 30 degree look here uh, these type of questions uh, you may confuse here children first what we are talking the angle of elevation is we are talking but we are not saying the angle here but what did they say the distance between the foot of the tower to the point they have said again uh, other sentence was included in between then finally the angle of elevation is 30 degrees given so read the question carefully so i am going to do it once again for you the angle of elevation of the top of a tower c from a point on the ground a can you see that okay which is 30 meter angle of elevation said but they have stopped the point which is 30 meters away from the foot of the tower is 30 degrees so you can see the tower and the distance between the tower to the point is how much here 30 meters and now angle is given is 30 degrees what is this is 30 degree it is the angle of elevation from a point to the top of the tower 30 degrees given find the height of the tower so look over there children it is a right angle triangle it forms a right angle triangle okay you can see the theta is uh, acute angle and now you need to observe which ratio i need to see here see here no need of considering three sides only two sides enough what given what you need to find only those two sides you try to take and apply the ratio now your angle 30 is here right so you need to calculate opposite side you know adjacent side right opposite and adjacent which ratio you may have a doubt either i can take tan or cot any one ratio you can take children yeah wish that is no problem you may take cot theta or you may take tan theta so i use tan theta here so now let's start the solution for fourth problem so what they have given here children uh, it is a, it forms a right angle triangle in this right angled triangle a b c at b it is right angle right okay so what given you need to write now first so let us write here given ab is equal to 30 meters what you need to calculate here children you need to find height of the tower bc is equal to question mark okay you have to write this step first then in right angle triangle abc what ratio you are using here tan so tan what is the angle of elevation 30 degree tan 30 degree is equal to what is tan theta opposite by adjacent opposite is how much bc adjacent is ab as we know here what is tan 30 here children tan 30 value do you remember yes it is 1 by root 3 what is bc here you don't know you need to calculate ab ab value is 30 right cross multiply bc is equal to 30 by root 3 look here children your problem is not completed still you have what you need to do here 30 by root 3 there right so what you need to write here root 3 the number you observe okay is the, your numerator is any multiple of 3 or not you have to check it out yes 10 3 so 30 so split accordingly 10 into 3 by root 3 i 
as I have said another way also that children denominator should never be irrational. So in order to remove that, uh, multiply numerator and denominator by this conjugate form. Okay, then your root will be removed. Or if you remember this technique, you can go with this, no problem. Root 3, root 3 times, therefore BC is equal to 10 root 3 meters. Finally, therefore, what you are going to write here, children? Therefore, height of the, therefore, height of the tower is equal to how much we got? 10 root 3 meters. Height of the tower is BC is equal to 10 root 3 meters. Fifth problem here, children. A kite is flying at a height of 60 meters. Every one of you know what is kite, right? Kite is flying 60 meters above the ground. The string attached to the kite is temporarily tied to a point on the ground. So what is happening here children? Kite is flying. Kite is above 60 meters above the ground level. And its string is tied on one point on the ground. So look here. With the ground making an angle 60 degrees. What is the angle it is created there? 60 degree angle. Find the length of the string. Assuming that there is no slack in the string. What do you mean by slack here children? Extra thread. No extra thread will be there when after tying, right? So exact what is the length of the string is your question. Look there children, it is a right angled triangle. Okay. Look here children, right angled triangle, right angled at B. Okay. So now, what is given, which side is given to the angle 60 degree, there it is angle, so opposite side given and they are asking the question hypotenuse. So, which ratio you are going to think here, opposite and hypotenuse, yes exactly it is sine ratio, okay, sine theta we have to apply in this right angle triangle in order to find the answer, okay, shall we find here? So now here given, what is given here? Given, kite is above the ground 60 meters above. BC is equal to 60 meters. And what we need to find here children? AC is equal to question mark. And still, angle uh, A, B, C. Sorry. Angle B, A, C is equal to 60 degree. Okay. So now, uh, which ratio are going to apply? Sign ratio, right? So now, again, I am going to consider the right angle triangle. Where it is right angle? Let B. Right? Right angle triangle A, B, C. What is the ratio here, children? Sin, sin 60 degree is equal to opposite BC by hypotenuse AC. Okay, what is sin 60 degree here children? Do you remember what is that? It will be root 3 by 2. And what is BC here? BC value is 60. We don't know AC. We need to calculate the length of the string that is AC. Cross multiply here, AC here, like this. So, 60 into 2 will be 120 by root 3. Okay. So, here, what is happening here? I need to cancel. Right? Denominator should not be irrational. So, for that purpose, let me check it out. 120, is it a multiple of 3 or not? Is it a multiple of 3? Yes. See children, this you can do in two methods I have said. Or better, let's go for the second method. 120 is a multiple of 3 of what? It is 43 is so 120 at that time root 3 root 3 cancel. But where is another method here? Multiply numerator and denominator by this. Right? Now what it will happen? 120 root 3 by root 3 into root 3 will be? 3. Okay. Now you can cancel here. That will be 40. AC is equal to 40 root 3 
meters. Finally, what is your answer here, children? You have to end your answer with a statement. What is that statement you need to write here? See there, what is a question you have to see? Uh, find the length of the string, right? Therefore, the length of the string is 40 root 3 meters. So, okay children, we are going to end this session today. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.